Hey, hey, fellow YouTubers, JJ the Trucker coming to you from just outside of Anderson, Indiana. Whew, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these videos for y'all, and I'm sorry. It's been busy since coming off of vacation. Of course, we knew it was going to be busy because of the holiday and all that stuff. Uh, we just uh, wrapped up Labor Day. Uh, it's currently Wednesday after Labor Day. I think it's Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. I might have to double check that. You know, sometimes the days get lost like that. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so I've made a couple deliveries since my vacation, and uh, man, it has just been busy. Um, I've been running nights, been running days, been running all over the place. And uh, so, yeah, I'm already on my third delivery. I'm gonna slow down here to 30. So, I'm already on my third delivery since vacation. And uh, I'm picking up an in Indiana, or if I've just picked up an in Indiana, I'm heading to Jersey. Yeah, New Jersey. So, if I can get all the way slowed down here. There we go. Oh, man. So, whew, a lot has been going on. Um, you know, I'm trying to switch banks too, so I've been busy taking care of that. Uh, not really happy with my uh, with my current bank. You know, their, their personal side is great, but their business side at Commerce Bank, uh, which is based in the Midwest, they're not not the greatest. Plus, I'm I'm not in the Midwest anymore. I lived in the Midwest for a while, but I'm not living there anymore. So, you know, I'm in Vegas, and they're kind of you know iffy about you know helping me out, you know, with any kind of anything. So. They're like, why are you, uh, how'd you get all the way in Vegas? Why aren't you here? Why, why are you with, you know, why do you have us as a bank? I'm like, it's called loyalty, you know? You guys were a good bank when, uh, when I was out there in the Midwest for 10 years. So I decided to keep you all. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, they, they don't show a lot of loyalty in return. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm moving over to a, uh, credit union over in Vegas, so... Anyway, I've uh, been taking care of that, you know, moving personal accounts and business accounts and getting all that set up. That's been taking a lot of time. So, yeah, excuses, excuses. All these excuses about why I haven't gone back on YouTube and uh, and, and answered all your questions. Well, I have answered all your questions. I don't think I've left any uh, questions unanswered. Uh, I think I've gotten to all those. Um, let's see here. All right, you know you're in a, a nice neighborhood when they're driving golf carts down the street. <laughs> nice little old town. All right, here we go. We got our speed limits picking back up again. Not a fan of these uh, these types of back roads. Put me on an interstate any day. These back roads, man. You know, you're going 55. Oh, slow down to 40. Slow down to 35. Slow down to 25. All right, back up to... 35, 45, 55, and slow it back down again. <laughs> so, uh, nah, plus they're not as safe as the interstates. I'll take an interstate any day. Uh, so anyways, I've also got some other business I've been taking care of, but uh, I can't spill the beans on that yet. But uh, give, it a, give it about another week, week and a half, two weeks maybe at the most, and I'll be able to... Uh, to tell you what's been going on there. Uh, a couple of you already know, but uh, if you already know what's going on, don't say anything. Don't say anything. It's top secret. Hush, hush. Construction uh, was reported on I-70. Thank you, Nagata. All right, so what's going on here? All right, so this is actually a pretty tight load. Let's talk about this load a little bit here. Uh, this load has me driving, uh, let's see, including the deadhead. It was a total of, uh, let's see, uh, two hours deadhead plus uh, 12 hours after deadhead, uh, so 14 total hours. Uh, I did get the load in plenty of time to meet uh, to meet my appointment at the 01, and the 01 took me early. It was a drop and hook. Yay. Very, very thankful and happy about that. Um, let's see. So I'm already uh, uh, loaded and on the way on my 12-hour drive. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do 12 hours in one shift. That's a bummer. So, got to split it up. Um, so, I'm heading over to a Love's right now, which is about an hour away from the 01. That will give me an 11-hour drive uh, left. 
And that's without traffic or any delays or anything like that. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta figure it maybe more. Um, and we're going into Jersey, so Jersey parking is uh, as challenging as it is. The, uh, the 90, which is the delivery site, uh, that does not allow overnight parking at all. In fact, they're so strict. Once you, uh, once you get unloaded, they kick you out. So, I'm going to have to uh, split this up into two shifts. It's due not tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., but the following morning, the 11th, on Friday at 10 a.m. All right, this is not the loves we are looking for. This is not the loves we are looking for. All right, no, that's not a Jedi mind trick. It's just really not the loves we're looking for. Still got another half hour to go. Got to get on 70. The 11th is when we are delivering, so uh, tomorrow it's going to be split up anyway. I'm going to get most of the way there, um, and we will find the last available place for us to park uh, in the evening, and uh, and then we'll take it the rest of the way on Friday. So that's about it. Uh, I am going to stop at the Loves, as I mentioned, in about 30 minutes uh, down the road, and Take a shower. Always take a shower and get your shopping Turn done. Turn I-70 East. Before you get to the New Jersey, New York area, that that whole area, that whole New England area, man, you just you got to get it done firsthand because you don't have pilots and loves and TAs out there like you do everywhere else. Uh, you just don't have availability of showers, parking. Everything's tougher out there when it comes to all that stuff. So you just got to be, uh, you got to plan ahead. So yeah, I'm going to get my shower done tonight. All right, give me a minute while I get this merge done here. Continue on I-70. Colorado. 70, uh, anywhere you go on 70, it's it's usually a pretty rough ride. Yeah, I'm already feeling the, the, the bumps and the shakes. Of course, being in a, a freight shaker doesn't help. <laughs> Alright, real quick update here. If you want to know why I would want to go as far as I can to, you know, tomorrow, instead of splitting it half and half and making easy days, Look on the other side of the highway there. You see that? I know it's hard to see between the bugs. That is traffic backed up. It's been backed up already probably a good three or four miles. And the source of it was behind trees and stuff, but I mean, there's construction going on. I have a feeling it was all that it's all construction related, you know, and that happens. Sometimes you just get construction, they're narrowing it down to one lane, and it gets backed up forever. And there's a major delay, and it's still going. I mean, it is still going. So you're talking probably a good 30, maybe 40 minute delay so far as far as I can see. And, uh, yeah, that, you know, if you're trying to, to just cut it to the wire, you know, split the days and you know, leave in, in order to get to your, uh, to your destination on time. No, that, that <laughs> one thing like this, and that, and that'll ruin your day. You will get a service failure because you will be late and that's not excusable, <laughs> you know? All right, here it is. Here's the end finally. But yeah, it's, it's probably a good 30, 35 minute delay right there if I were to guess. And I've been in them. Um, you don't want to be in them, but can't really avoid them sometimes you know all you can do is, is plan ahead give yourself plenty of extra cushion and uh and try and get uh you know as close to your destination as early so i hate lying to you because i know i said i was going to see you tomorrow uh but it's still tonight uh i made it to the loves with no problem and check this out i'm parking and this guy comes up to me hey what's up everybody i'm skyline 
And <laughs> check that out. And check out what he's wearing. Look at that. That's he's got right. his hat. Of course, he was wearing a Cubs hat. And, you know, I lived in St. Louis for forever, so I couldn't let that stand. So I had to get him a hat. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, um, if, if you don't know by now, run into me at a truck stop or somewhere. Come say hi to me. I'll get you a hat or something. And, man, this thing just yeah, keeps wanting to fall down. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he's got nice. his JJ the Trucker hat. High class hat. <laughs> JJ the Trucker. Coming at you live, guys. <laughs> Woo. All right, so we're not quite live, but that's oh, all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're not live on this one. This video uh, is probably going to post probably this weekend. Oh, nice. So make sure you're looking out for it. Of course. I'm subscribed and the bell. There you subscribe go. Subscribe and hit the bell, guys. And that thumbs up, too. Yeah. That's right. All right, so thank you very much for running into hey, me. Man. I appreciate it. Thank you, JJ. I, I, I love seeing the, the subscribers and seeing everybody, man. All right, I will now see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Alright, well, hope you all had a good night's sleep. Uh, I did. Wasn't too bad. Oh, man. Nothing like a, a nice recharge after a, a few long days and then hitting the road again. As you can see, we are back on the road. It is morning time. The sun is up. And, uh, yeah. So we are approaching Dayton, Ohio right about now. Uh, we still have a little ways to go before we get there, but uh, that's about where we're at. And we've got a total of ten and a half hours left to drive. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, just one of those driving days. Just pedal to the metal, you know, which uh, for a prime truck, <laughs> it's not that fast. Uh, but pedal to the metal for me, 65 miles an hour. Uh, well, 55 now because we're coming into a uh, work zone. So I'm going to go ahead and slow that down. Yeah, lots of work zones on uh, on Highway 70. So that's going to slow us down a little bit. Uh, ten and a half hours to go. Uh, might, well, so I set up Nagata to tell her that my max speed is 58. <laughs> so I get a little bit of an advantage. So when I do have to slow down or, uh, you know, something like that, it kind of compensates for it. Uh, but I really do average about 62 miles an hour, uh, generally speaking. So... I'm usually ahead of the game, so we're, we'll still figure about ten and a half hours. Uh, we are going to go as far as we can today with finding parking this evening. Uh, that should be around 7:30 ish tonight. Uh, after the you know, ten hour break or ten hour after a thirty minute break that I've got to take and all that stuff, and so we will uh, once we are getting closer, we will see uh, what's available, what parking is available. Good stuff. Uh, good news is good news is you know we've got shower out of the way. We've got the uh, shopping out of the way. I can park anywhere tonight, uh, no problem at all. All right, we got the pass for the scales. That's what that beeping is. No need to go into the scales. That is awesome. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we can park anywhere tonight, uh, anywhere that's legal. <laughs> Rest areas, service centers are uh, popular out in that area. Um, truck stops, all that kind of good stuff. So even Walmart, if there is one, which there really are not a lot of WalMarts out there uh, in that area that allow parking. So here we go. We are in Ohio, officially out of Indiana into Ohio.
it's going to be actually pretty brief. I'll actually keep you on the ride for the whole trip through West Virginia uh, until we get to Pennsylvania. So I uh, hope you enjoy the ride. reported on I-70. Thanks, Nagata. And, of course, we are now in Pennsylvania. All right, let's pause it. Uh, we've got another three, I've got another three and a half hours to go before the fuel stop, uh, but I'll be taking my 30 here in a little bit, uh, so I will catch up to you again when I hit my 30. See you guys. All right, everybody, we are in Pennsylvania at the Welcome Center. We're taking our 30. Decided to go ahead and take the, the drone out, take a look and see what we got going on here. Because, you know, when you're at these places, you don't really get to see a whole lot. There's just trees surrounding all these areas. So I wanted to see what's above the trees. Yeah, so let's take a look and see what we got here. Mm-hmm. Look at that. There's the highway. So what's above all this stuff? Let's Let's go ahead and get a bird's eye view, shall we? Ooh, look at that. All right, there's a little town over there. Stuff you never even ever see when you're just along the highway. You know, you just got trees to the left, trees to the right. Can't see any of this stuff. Look at that. Look at that. I got a whole track full of houses and everything. That's pretty cool. And there's, of course, the Welcome Center. Yeah, not bad. Ah, let's go see what's over there, shall we? That's pretty cool. That is a true bird's eye view right there. Hmm, that is nice. Well, looky what we've got up here. Got some dark clouds coming up over the horizon. I uh, did check the weather. Not too bad. We may uh, hit a couple of patches, but the main squall line is actually way ahead of us. And uh, 
and it's going away from us. We're, we're going faster than it, so we're kind of catching up to it, but I think the day will probably be over before we catch up to it. Uh, I've got about five more hours, so it might be cutting it close. But you know what? It's all right. If, if we end up hitting the rain, that's good. I could use a truck wash, and a free truck wash is a good truck wash. <laughs> Let me tell you. Woo! I, uh, last truck wash I did was uh, right before vacation. I want to show the, the truck off to friends and family and everybody. Went to Blue Beacon. I got the works, man. The engine wash, the Rain-X coating, the, the, you know, the wheel shine, the tire shine, the whole thing. 80 bucks plus tip. Woo! Uh, looked nice. It really, really looked nice. They did a, a really good job on it. Uh, and then... Naturally, while I was uh, on vacation and it was parked, it rained. And not one of those, you know, real heavy rains where you can't really tell. No, it was one of those spotty rains with the dirt and dust, you know, a desert rain. So I came back and the truck was just filthy. Man, so, uh, yeah, it still is. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, let's see if we can hit some rain and uh, maybe get a little wash off here. I will let you know. In the meantime, I uh, went ahead and called Lyle back. He uh, He's waiting to get his truck. Oh, look, we got some sprinkles now already. He's still waiting to get his truck. It's any day now. He's just waiting to hear back. So uh, we believe his truck is at Stripes and Stuff, getting the graphics put on. He's getting the uh, side box put on. He's getting the deer guard. I don't think he's got a whole lot of work being done with it outside of factory, so... Hopefully he'll be getting his call any any day now saying it's ready, come pick it up. That'll be awesome. So if you're not familiar with uh, with Lyle at No Hippie Trucking and Transport, you got to check him out. He's a good guy. Uh, and he's got, you know, he put the, the graphics that he's getting uh, on his uh, on his blog. So, yeah, definitely go check that out. He's a prime driver. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's currently doing team driving, too. So if you want to learn about team driving and whether that's a good fit for you or not, check that out. to the 81. You have to exit and go through city streets for a little bit and then get on an on-ramp to the 81. Kind of uh, weird. Of course, it's all due to there being toll booths and different tolls for the different stretches of the highway and all that stuff. Uh, and of 
course, uh, while you're on the streets, hey, you might as well throw some, uh, some truck stops there, you know? In one quarter mile, be in the left lane, then keep left to US 11 North. U.S. 11 North. time was just to exit off of 76. And I'll go to 81 straight up ahead. In one quarter mile, arrive at 1201 Harrisburg Pike on the right. And by the way, this is what I would have had to do even if I wasn't going to the Petro. Which is interesting. So yeah, no actual interchange going from highway to highway. You have to if you're coming. If you're going from uh, from 76 to 81 or vice versa. You gotta exit them and uh, go on this this street here. So you know what? While you're already off the highway, might as well go to the truck stop. This petrol actually has really really good fuel prices. Uh, I've been here to this one often because fuel price is low. Let's see. It says diesel cash price 289.9. So uh, when I get stopped, I will uh, take a look and uh, look up on the, uh, the Prime app and see how much I'm actually going to be paying for it. There it is right there. 289.9 is the cash price. We're not paying cash. And we're still going to pay you less. Ha! Isn't this fun and exciting? This is what we truckers have to deal with. <laughs> Bet they don't have anything like this in ATS, American Truck Simulator, do they? In fact, you know, if, if somebody has uh, ATS, you're watching this, head on over to Pennsylvania and go from the 76 to the 81. See if they've got this. Harrisburg Pike on the right. In three quarters oh, no, of a the mile, truck. take oh, the ramp <laughs> on the right to I 81 North. Available island. Oh, there we go. 
go. Right there. Lamp right there. Look at that. made it to the fuel stop. I will go ahead and fill her up. I'll check on that price and I will get right back to you. Alrighty. The truck tanks have been filled. My tank has been emptied. If you know what I mean. It's time to go. Alright, so I looked it up. Looked up that price. You ready for this? Remember, the price on the sign said $2.80.9. And, you know, fleets get fuel cards. You can get your own fuel card and stuff like that. Save, you know, save some money. Uh, you know, save like 50 cents per gallon. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So how much do you think Prime's discount is? If you can get your own fuel card and save 50 cents a gallon, what do you think Prime's price is? You ready for this? You ready? Wait, right, before I show you, check Turn this out. Turn left on North Latrop Drive. See that truck right there? Look at that. I talked to the owner. He was uh, fueling up next to me. Husband and wife team. That thing is beautiful. Beautiful. Huge. Yeah. It says that with the trailer. Uh, they can haul only about 34,000 pounds pushing it. <laughs> so, yeah, they can't haul as much, but they get by just fine. Uh, they had to save up for it for a number of years, but yeah, I'd love to one of these days do that. One of these years, you know. Can't do that while uh, hauling for Prime, obviously. They've got uh, their restrictions. Uh, trucks got to be pretty lightweight. Even even these uh, the trucks that we're in got to be pretty lightweight. Anyways, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, the price. <laughs> You've been waiting on the price. Cliffhanger. So, there you go. It's not 289, not 280, not 230. Did you see that? Did you see that? A dollar 30.6. A dollar 30. How ridiculous is that? Oh, no turn on red. I was going to turn. Darn it. Dollar thirty. That's prime price. So yeah, that is definitely an advantage uh, working for a, a mega carrier like Prime. Uh, you know, if you got to pay for your own fuel, man. Uh, you know, if you went on your own, you know, got your own authority and all that stuff. Um, you know, and you're and you're not hauling for a mega carrier. You got to get your own fuel card, your own fuel discount. And uh, yeah, from what I've heard, you know. Um, yeah, they're, you're not going to beat that. I mean, that's just a huge savings right there. Two hours, 46 minutes until we hit that Walmart. Oh, I don't think I told you. Yeah, I found a place for us to stop. A Walmart in New Jersey that allows truck parking. I couldn't believe it. Just couldn't believe it. Didn't know there was such a thing. And it's only 20 minutes away from the 90. That is pretty cool. So, two hours, 46 minutes uh, to get there, according to Nagata. And we've got three hours, 19 minutes left on our clock. So, yeah, got plenty of time, uh, 35 minutes to spare, give or take. So, yeah, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. So, we'll get parked at Walmart. I'll be able to uh, sleep in a little bit, which will be nice. And then we will wake up in the morning and... Uh, head on over to R90, but uh, for right now, uh, let's see, I will pick us back up in a little bit when I see some more scenery. Well, I told you I'd bring you back if I saw something pretty interesting. Not that you can't see this, you know, elsewhere, but check that out. Yeah, it stops pretty much right there. <laughs> uh, it's not a full all the way up and over rainbow, but still, it's pretty cool. And uh, just 
looking straight at it, I can actually see where it lands. Hey, no leprechaun jokes. I'm Scottish, not Irish. <laughs> but I think I see a pot of gold over there. Unfortunately, no time to stop, so I'll have to leave that for somebody else. Anyways. Alright, let's see. Where are we at? We are still in, in uh, Pennsylvania. We're coming up to New Jersey here pretty quick. I'm currently on the 78, or as I like to call, Shaken Baby Highway. We all know Shaken Baby Syndrome, right? Man, every time I'm on this highway, I feel like a shaken baby. Oh, man, I am, I am physically worn out because of this highway. It's just bump after bump, and it's those buckling bumps, ones that really get these, uh, these freight liners shaken to the max. I mean, whew. I know I've got camera stabilization on, but I, so I don't know if you can even see that. Let me, uh, maybe you can kind of compare the hood to uh, the bumps. Jeez. Oh, I'm sure you can hear the rattling in the background. But yeah, that's the highway the whole way through. It is just one shaking baby. So we are 50 minutes away from our Walmart where we will be parking for the evening and uh, I know we are coming up to New Jersey pretty quickly. Oh finally a, a nice decent stretch of highway. Now that I turn the camera on, this is the uh, the one part that they repaired. Apparently this was the, uh, you know, Clearly on the New Jersey side or something, you know, New Jersey just went a little too far or something. <laughs> I don't know. But man, Pennsylvania side, whoo, not good. All right. Just coast here for a little bit. Shartsville. That's right, Shartsville. It just begs the question, is that named after the first person who sharted? <laughs> I mean, you kind of got to wonder. It is 8 o'clock p.m. And we made it. Ah, oh, finally. There's the uh, the Wally World back there. Can't even see it. Focus. That's ah, focusing on all the, uh, the spots on the window. Ah, go figure. If I didn't want, if I did want it to do it, it wouldn't do that. Yep, there we go. There's the Walmart over there, and there's kind of a side parking lot over here. Uh, plenty of room. Uh, as you can see, um, I caught up to the uh, to the rain, and man, lightning, thunder, raining cats and dogs. 
I'm talking calicos and, and German shepherds. It was just going crazy. Uh, roads had a lot of standing water on them. It was, uh, it was a little slow and go, but not a big deal. Not a big deal. Everybody was nice and slow and patient, which for Jersey, that's saying a lot. So uh, thank you to every uh, driver that was out there that was uh, taking it nice and slow. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, this parking lot worries me a little bit because, uh, you know, the, all the rest stops out in Jersey, uh, once I hit Jersey, all the rest stops were overflowing full. I mean, overflowing onto the highways and even all the on-ramps and off-ramps had trucks 20 or more deep. I was getting really worried that this place was going to be full or something, but... No, uh, it's, there's a big shopping mall here. There's a Lowe's, there's the Walmart. And so there are uh, a few trucks smattered about. Uh, but uh, I'm the only one in this particular lot. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I'm not asked to move because I... I think I found one other spot that's like right around the corner. That's a maybe too, so... We're just going to have to hope for the best for this one. But, uh, yeah, I am uh, 19 minutes away from uh, from the 90. So we will uh, wake up in the morning, uh, brush our teeth, go for a run. I'll do all that stuff without, <laughs> without the video. You don't have to watch me uh, brushing my teeth. Trust me, that's, that's probably not something you want to see. So uh, yeah, I'll get all that done and then uh, take you along for the ride to the, uh, to the 90. We'll get unloaded. And then I get to edit this video. How fun is that? I get to edit it before I post it. Yay. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys in the morning. Have a good night's sleep. Good morning. It's a overcast, cloudy day here in Jersey. That's all right. There we are. Hey, how's it all going, everybody? All right. So it is delivery day. It's uh, Friday. It is 9-11. So, uh, uh, gonna give a little moment of silence for uh, remembrance on uh, for all those who uh, lost their lives on 9-11 it was a uh, very tragic day I remember it well um, so yeah let's uh, give a, a brief moment of silence shall we all right well to every bit of bad news uh, comes some good news and that is as I mentioned earlier in the video Today is my CDL anniversary. Yes, after uh, failing the test twice, I finally passed. It was on 9/11, uh, so that uh, that brought some uh, some good thoughts to an otherwise bleak day. Uh, so 9/11 is uh, you know mixed day for me, but uh, overall I'm very happy that I got my CDL, and it has been one year. Whew. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the road, get out of this Walmart parking lot. This Walmart was awesome, by the way, so uh, very, very surprised, very happy I saved this to my favorites for sure. And uh, yeah, if I ever need to come back to New Jersey, I will stay here again for sure. And uh, all right, so let's go ahead and head on down the road to this delivery and get her done. Walk 
back up to the guard shack. Since I am about an hour and nine minutes early. Alrighty guys, well checking in was the right call. Uh, I checked in, they said they'd uh, give me a call when a door was available. Didn't even uh, make it out the door. They're like, wait, wait, door's available. So uh, they got me a door number. That was all pretty quick, quick after that. Got in, got docked, checked in uh, with the receiving, and uh, that's it. So yeah, we are, uh, we're here. Already docked in the door, everything. And uh, so yeah, that was uh, pretty awesome. Hope, hope you like my mask. It's my mask of the mask of the week. Uh, all right, everybody. So that is it. Thank you very much for riding along with me. I really appreciate it. As always, hope you enjoyed the trip. Please, if you like this video, scroll up, subscribe, or you know what? Click on my face. Not 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 this one. Click on my face in the corner. You know you know what to do. Click on my face. Click on my face. You know what you want to click on my face. See what happens when you do that. Watch my other videos, like the video, and please comment. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.